Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to a 56 degree Tuesday, the 3rd of October, 2023. You believe we're already into October? It's crazy. Fall colors. You can definitely tell where the evergreens are <laughs> and the seasonal trees. They kind of they kind of stick out, but uh, the other ones just stay green forever. Just green, 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 green. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's very peaceful out here this morning. 56 degrees. That feels quite comfortable. Now all the trees are all sagging from the weight of the rain and stuff on them. Sasha, what you doing? What you doing, Sasha? <laughs> oh, look, a little bit of blue. Bubble, bubble blue. Man, seems like a very nice day to just kick back and relax. Not have to go driving down that daggum freeway back and forth. But uh, it is what it is. So uh, welcome to a Tuesday. Let's see, uh, see how the day goes on. 62 and partly sunny, partly cloudy, partly wet, partly dry. <laughs> Mama? Yes, I have. Made it to Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Let's go in there and bust her out. All right. Sounds like a plane. All right. Hope you have a wonderful day there, You're Mama. You're too happy. Yeah, all right. Well, you see you. Bye. Love you. Bye-bye <laughs> bye. now. That poor old R9T I was showing you guys yesterday. Well, I got my answer. Phone yard's here to, to take her away. The insurance company totaled it out. What a crying shame. I mean, there's a bunch of stuff on it, but man, if you get that thing cheap, I would ride that thing like a rat rod. I wouldn't fix half of that stuff. I mean, it'd be terrible for resale and stuff, but it needs it. But it's a new bike to him. I think it's a 22, fire, yeah, 22. That's a shame. Got, got dinged up like that. Oh, well, life happens. Bikes go down the road end up on a hook <laughs> this is a 23 um k1600b grand america and um he came in yeah it's been a while back i remember i was just swamp busy and um just i don't know how he got i think a truck was holding the gate open or something he just up here down here you know just demanding we make his maps work you know well i was a hole deep in alligators, customers waiting. I just, you know, we're not set up to just drop something because you can't figure out how to use your nap. So anyway, he made an appointment and he brought it in this morning or last night, whenever it was. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me. And, um, yeah, it took me longer to download the owner's manual than it did to read the instructions on how to hook my phone up. And it works like instantly. But, you know, we've talked about this before. You know, if you have multiple bikes, you have to dedicate everything to the bike. Hang on a sec. But anyway, one of the tricks to have a very smooth experience with, you know, uh, pairing your phone and headsets and stuff to BMW is you have to dedicate your phone to the TFT and you have to dedicate your headset to the TFT. And then if you have a passenger, you pair their headset to the TFT. You have to let BMW decide all the, the communications between your phone and your headset. And so, like me, I hook up to spiders, and when I ride my other bikes, you know, I'll have my, my phone in my pocket. It's, I can't not have my phone and headset paired together. Or my, you know, I get nothing through i get no audio prompts through my headset or nothing when i'm not on a bmw you do that with the bmw it works very well it's a little slow to connect like i mean literally it took me i think 20 to 30 seconds to have the maps running on his on his thing a couple of questions with my iphone you know and, and then it once it links the maps it uses so much data from you know pulling the map maps off of your phone not wirelessly. It's not using your data unless you turn the traffic alerts and weather alerts on. 
And really, oh my Lord, who does not have an unlimited phone plan nowadays? If you don't, you're paying too much. I switched over to unlimited and I don't, I don't get throttled down. Nothing. I, I've been with them so long that just, they just roll the carpet out for me. But anyway, um, I, I don't know what it is. I see that two phones have been paired to it. Doesn't look like any headsets that I can see has been paired to it, but yeah, the iPhone asked a couple of questions. You know, does it want to share my contacts? Nope. <laughs> I'm not share. I don't want all my stuff stuffed on this motorcycle, so I, I don't do that anyway with with any of those things. But uh, if I if I need to make a phone call, you click the back, hit the little phone button on your Siri thing on, on your Cena and ask Siri. You know, call Kelly Smoke, and it calls Kelly Smoke. Call Ryan Smoke, calls my kid. Whoever I want to talk to is in my contacts. You don't need to sync that with your... I mean, they're in there. All your contacts end up in there, but I have, she's like 900 and something contacts way, way, way back when with the old uh, Scion and Windows and Palm PCs and stuff like that. I used to um, make like notes and stuff in contacts it was just that's the way it was back in the you know the 80s and 90s you know the old uh sharp wizard pdas and stuff like that so all those contacts i still have but uh yeah it, it takes like two forevers to sync my contacts or something like that but anyway connected right up and there it goes one thing i haven't noticed until doing it with him you guys know with, well, now everything's going to be changed because you've got Apple CarPlay with the spiders. But um, when you connected your phone to the TFT on the spiders, it blacked your phone out. You couldn't communicate with it unless you broke that connection, you know. Well, I don't know if this one does the same thing. I mean, literally, other than a little BMW little icon flashing around on my screen like a screensaver, um, instead of, you know, brp connected or brp go it's called now but um yeah it locks me out of the phone so you whatever routing you're gonna do you need to do it with your phone which is nice i mean you're sitting there you're you know, whatever you know having lunch taking a break and you can you know change your routes do everything with your phone when you hook it back up you have that all saved in there and i had to download washington state maps which was like 200 megabytes or something like that so i downloaded that so you have mapping software i have no idea literally things like this with the bmws the customers come in and tell us how to make it work we don't deal with any of that customer stuff you know we deal with fixing the bikes so things like pairing your phone and all that stuff all the sales guys are all nerdy and know all about that stuff and uh so i don't know what the deal is with this Number one, I've just never ran across a BMW customer that doesn't literally show me stuff on this. The only time I got involved was with that connection issues. I dealt with BMW and we discussed, you know, how you have to dedicate your phone to it. And there's actually now a learning module for that. In fact, Matt, who was the service writer for this gentleman, is uh, he went through and passed all that test, but he's refreshing himself on it so he can, you know, explain you know and like when you buy a new car and you're trying to figure out how that works you don't go to the service department you go to your salesman they're supposed to be trained and they have to do all that training so how the whoever the salesman was didn't know how to tell how the customer how to do it you know bad on you the the bmw guy probably wasn't there that day or something i, I don't know what the whole story is anyway i figured it out like super super easy oh one thing i was going to bring up too is like because i pair well now i'm standing here holding my iphone 15 now but i was using the 14 on the trip and um i link the phone to the tft only and i mean only to because the tft communicates with my nav 6 and in the BMW connected app, it keeps track of, of everything. My lean angles, top speed and duration of trips and stuff, all that gets logged. So it's just like this, 
it just runs in the background. It keeps all that thing logged. So I have my phone paired to the TFT. And the nice thing is I look down at the TFT, it shows my cell rece reception, my battery, and all that kind of good jazz. So, but I would say probably 30% of the time, the phone wouldn't automatically connect to it. And it was when we made the, made the next stop and I booted down, booted back up, you know, whether it's gas or whatever we're doing. And I, suddenly it'd come back. Sometimes it wouldn't. But I did find once I was going down the road, I could go in to settings, connections, and point it towards the iPhone 14 Pro Max. And boop, and before I even hit the next screen to tell it to pair, it would connect. So it was just... And again, probably because that phone is not dedicated to the BMW. So you will deal with those weird things. But and for navigation, I literally lose use Apple Maps. And if I don't have any mapping software going, if you guys notice my little iPhone 14 up there glowing white most of the time. Although the color, the GoPro picked that thing up in a weird color. Sometimes it was pink. But anyway, it was white. Uh, that's just Waze running. I don't put, like when I go home at night, I don't, it realizes I'm following down I-5 and if something happens, it tells me, you know. And as soon as I get a warning, I then I open up the route to home through Waze and uh, she can redirect me if something's weird. Really nasty rainy day, Waze is directed to take me home before I leave the parking lot. So she'll send you, God knows, back roads and whatever to, to save your day. But um, at any rate, this is no big deal. You just have to dedicate your phone to it, especially if you're using the built-in nav, which is really cool. It uses up the whole screen. It's actually pretty impressive. But um, anyway, there's a software update, so I'm hooked up to it now. Something about um, the TFT does not dis display the correct information should your your shock come apart i think it i'll have to read it again if the piston was the something went wrong with the shock it's giving you a soft warning instead of a red flashing hard warning like stop now you got a serious shock problem but um anyway it's a flash to correct that and there's always something else thrown in there we don't know what but it'll it'll literally update this thing to the latest integration level or i level as they usually call it but let me flash that to it and you know uh, i'm done i don't maybe you know hold his hand on how to hook his phone up to it it's very simple it shows it right in the owner's manual step by step and then something new with the bmw connected app it actually had a secondary set of instructions that told you just what to do i mean literally it took me 20 seconds and bam it's working so, uh, anyway. See, it's going to a... has a 2022 software on it. It was built 10 of 22, this one. And it's getting the newest third, 23. But just standing here, you can see that it's grabbed my little iPhone 12 mini. And you can see the battery level and that the phone's connected to it. Probably because it's in my pocket, I probably won't be able to... Uh, I'll probably have to interact with it to tell it to, um, yeah, they got to interact with the phone. I don't think I even have BMW connected in the background. Let's see, there's your quick little, little directions that it now has on the phone. A little secondary thing that pops up. You know, it will ask for a Wi-Fi connection. All this is, there it is, very slow. But it does work. There we are. She has navigation. Of course, I just stuck the thing back in my pocket, so I must have had another question. But anyway, you see the maps, it comes up and works. And then there's, um, you know, these don't have pockets and stuff in them like rts and stuff like that and they used to have a little pocket in the b models that you put your phone underneath there but that's not even there anymore but in the back she's got stuff in there make sure it doesn't have his name or anything on there no you can't see it but it's got that same usb connection like what's up on the next tft on the gsa i was riding 
and he's got some pockets of its own of his own in here to, to hold things so I don't point at it just because it's something you can see but anyway you can let your phone reside back there or you can use the the BMW proprietary adapter there and just run a wire up to your phone right there and just have it in front of you but easy peasy yeah it's warning me that it wants to want to interact with my phone here hold on did I lose my nope didn't lose it and that's what you get the same thing shows up with the BRP when you're connected with your phone on their thing and it kind of moves around like a screensaver it's kind of weird but uh yeah works nice big nice big screen and you have the ability to adjust the, the screen stuff too there's all kinds of stuff yeah that's quite the map thing going on in front of you there isn't it all right well this is something you don't want to see when it's uh, 20 minutes to 2 in the afternoon that the remaining time is 10 hours and 28 minutes and it's always always the combi that's your tft it's always caused by that but it'll sit there and think about that for a while and it'll it'll use up the rest of my day my rack will be locked up for the rest of the day that's why we warn the service advisors to warn the customer if you're going to sit here and wait for this half hour it pays to do this software that it could be a couple three hours and sometimes it is so we'll see we'll see if it updates here in a little bit crazy huh well hello there youtube man i just kind of left talking about that bmw and I realized I never come back and recorded anything. It actually only took about 40 minutes and it cleared itself up, off. And if a couple of things you got to reset and stuff on it once you do a big software update like that. But everything passed, went through. It's uh, sitting out. I guess the guy's going to come pick it up tomorrow sometime. Hopefully he'll pick it up when I'm there so I can kind of go over that with him right quick. And so it's, uh, it's just once you get <laughs> figure out how it works and what it likes to see you'll do fine my only thing is, is with it not always connecting right away if i was relying on that solely for a gps that would probably drive me nuts as it was i kept losing connection like i was saying with the gsa but all i'm doing is just seeing it on the display so i can make sure the phone's charging and doing everything it's supposed to but anyway on that it's dark it's late and uh I guess we'll call it on that. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Wednesday or Thursday. Heck yeah. All right. See you in the morning. We'll see you then. Thanks for watching now. Bye-bye. <laughs>